All right, hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Minecraft PSP update video. In this version, we're gonna be taking a look at the changes made for version 0.3 pre-release one. So before we get into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of whenever I upload. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So in this new version, which I'm going to go ahead and start up on the PSP over here for Craft Server, uh, what I actually went and did was I made it cross-platform to both Windows and Linux, so you can now run it on Windows itself or Linux, either of your choice. I'm going to connect it here. And this actually really helped me to debug some of the errors, because now I know uh, if it's like just a general error, it's always wrong on every platform. But if it's just a PSP-specific error, uh, which we were getting earlier, then I know exactly why it fails. Uh, this differential really helped me uh, decide uh, what to do, and it helped fix a lot of the stability issues that are uh, that were present with the PSP Craft server. Now, not everything is perfect, of course, but for the most part, it is now about 90% stable for pretty much any sort of real playing. I also found that somehow on my Linux port, uh, it's actually slower than the PSP version. I'm not quite sure exactly the circumstances that came about to have this happen, but it's just how it works. So let's get ourselves logging into the actual game. There we go. And now it does take a little bit of a second to load in here. So it does actually have a little bit of a network constraint, uh, which actually makes it slower. So one of the things I'm going to be doing over this weekend is doing some compression for the actual uh, packet data. Uh, this compression reduces the amount of load that actually has to be done by the network, and it will speed up the connection even further. Currently, it's generating infinite worlds, so as we go ahead and run across, we will infinitely get new uh, terrain. And as you're seeing, as it loads across, it's pretty quick at what it's actually doing, and I really appreciate that. It looks really good. Now this does cause a little bit of server-side lag, and sometimes it can be a little bit slow, but overall it's actually pretty decent and acceptable for the performance that I'm basically getting out of the PSP. Also consider that this is running on a phone hotspot, which is not necessarily the best uh, sort of internet connection that I could have uh, to my PC right now. But uh, on that sort of uh, basis, uh, over the weekend it should get a lot faster and it will be a lot more playable for full infinite worlds and exploration. Now in the following week, what I want to do is add sort of uh, breaking, as in breaking item drops, uh, and modification of chunks, alongside being able to add things to your inventory, and then we'll go ahead and start working on that crafting system and block registry system based upon uh, whatever needs to happen next week. But as you guys can tell, we now have a infinitely generating world from the PSP itself. Now this is pretty important because now it means that we can go ahead and work on the core mechanics of the actual game and then we should be pretty much set to keep on going. So thank you guys for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.